Hello guys and welcome to my recap video for today, 2nd of November, my first recap video. So you can see my new layout for recaps. This is the uh, PNL for today. This is the S&P, which is important to see my entry, the daily chart and the intraday chart. So let's start with SDC. I took SDC above 9.24 and then I added a little bit above 9.34 because of the daily chart. The stock touched 13, then dropped to 8, 9, and I thought that because we have 28% of short sellers in this stock and a very nice support with the 200 SMA, the stock will bounce today. So I took it for a long and I stopped out, but my original stop loss was 9.14 and I stopped out 9.19 because of this support and it's good which is good because now it's under 9 well I will follow SDC tomorrow as well so this was that was my first loss 412 my second trade this is the second day in a row that I'm losing money on beyond was beyond and the only reason that I took it is because of the daily chart we have such an extended daily chart for beyond from the 200 almost 197 drop one way ticket from 197 to 143 so i thought today we we're going to see green day and beyond but maybe tomorrow because i don't mind to lose 300 400 every day because if i will catch it the right day which i thought is today because of this move up that could be a very green trade for me so another stop loss with beyond 448. BA, that was the miss of the day because the BA I took too early. Somewhere around 144.85 I think and then I stopped out 143.60.70. I closed it and then it moved higher and again because of the daily chart extremely extended to the downside I will follow beyond tomorrow well you know tomorrow is election day so I'm not really sure that the chart will move like we used to but I thought that today is the day that beyond will bounce and maybe it's, it's the day we have another reversal right now but I'm done for today and I took it because I saw the S&P and also the Q's are moving sharply higher so this is what we called a shakeout my next trade, SunPower SPWR, save the day. I took it above this 16.28, above this area. And the reason that I took it is because we have 46% of short sellers in SunPower. Extremely nicely daily chart moving sideways. Maybe the next move is to, to see the 20. So took big size in uh, SunPower and I took my first target 1670, 16.69 which is great, it's like 5 cents from the eye of the day and then I closed it right here under the 16.50 but I'm okay with it because I made $1200 only in SunPower and my last trade for today ZM ZM I thought that today people will buy it also the daily chart is extended you can probably see that I'm always talking about the daily chart. This is what, this is the most important thing for me when I'm day trading is the daily chart. So I, I, I saw one, two, three, four red candles in a row. So I thought, well, maybe today we'll see a green ZM day, right? So ZM opened up, crashed, and then I saw this $25 move, moved lower. Here I thought, no, this is not enough, but... Here is when I thought, okay, I can take it right now. I took it above 465 and I stopped out. Took small share size, but still this is $569 loss. And I finished this day $522 in the red zone, but nothing special. This is a normal day, normal red day for me. So nothing special. And the market after a strong move to the upside now is moving lower. And that's it guys, my first recap video with a loss, small loss, $500, but thank you for watching, see you tomorrow.